is up guys mart carton here and uh today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to spawn peek in uh the best places on every single map and uh we're gonna start with house and uh first you're gonna have to go up into the bathroom and uh right here uh you're gonna spawn peek river docks they're gonna run right up that right there and all you're gonna have to do is just pre-fire them if you want to or just watch for their head and then you can shoot right away uh another one that i really do like on this map it's spawn peaks apc area and right over here you just gotta lay down on the ground and you're gonna hit the bottom of the door twice so they can't see you and they're gonna run like pretty much right behind this tree so you're just gonna like pre-fire them over here and uh yeah it's honestly uh that's probably the best one i have on house to be honest uh i get a ton of kills from that spot and uh the last one on house right here is gonna be um from the garage and uh i do get some kills from here sometimes but i don't i don't use it as much as the other two spots uh right when the preparation phase ends you're gonna want to blow it up and just run out and just like pre-fire like where these police cars are because that's where their heads are gonna be and uh if there's no one there then you're just gonna want to look at uh river docks and just uh pre-fire there and if there's no one there either then you can just run back inside all right so uh now we are on the map plane presidential plane and uh there are a couple spots on this map that are pretty good the first one is gonna be right out the main entrance um they spawn like pretty much right behind the fire truck that is like right down um these steps right here so you're gonna maybe wait a couple seconds um and then you're gonna want to run out and then you're just going to like pre-fire by the fire truck or just like up the stairs because they might be by the stairs already uh another spot that um i use also spawn peaks main entrance it's right down here it's pretty much right under the door you're gonna want to break that down and right when it starts you're just going to run out and uh pre-fire uh, the fire truck also and uh, you'll probably get a couple of kills right there. And uh, the last spot on Presidential Plane um, is actually going to be right here. And uh, you could like uh, look down here and you could watch when they're coming up the ladder over here for front service entrance. So it's honestly a pretty good uh, spot right there. And there's actually one more I have to show you. It's going to be right over here. Um, you're going to have to pull this down right here. Um, and you're literally just going to look right. And uh, it's also main entrance. So um, a lot of spawn peaks for main entrance right there. It's honestly uh, really good. It's a really good map for spawn peaking. Alright. So uh, now we're uh, on the map. Um, now we're going to be on the map canal right here. And uh, I only have like two spots for this map because I don't really spawn peek too much because there's not too many good spots. But right here, you're going to be in server room and you're going to want to peek right here. You're going to hold a pretty tight angle and they're going to run right around that corner. And you're going to get some pretty easy kills right there. Um, so yeah, that's uh, honestly uh, one of the better spots I have right there. Um, and the last one I have is going to be downstairs in the garage. And uh, let me get there real quick. It's, uh, it's actually a pretty good spot. Uh, it peeks the same place as the one upstairs. Um, you're just going to get behind this um, white van right here, and you're going to want to peek like uh, right in between the railing and the boxes right there. And uh, you will actually be able to snag a couple of headshots right there uh, if they do run past there without uh, noticing. So uh, yeah, that's all I have for, for Canal. And uh, the next map, uh, we're going to be on right here. We're going to be on Hereford Base. And uh, there is only two spots I have to show you on this one. Uh, also, not uh, too big at spawn killing. Um, so right here this door you can actually spawn peek two different places you can look on the right and you can spawn peek over here they'll either be by the tree over here or probably behind the red uh, truck right there and you're just gonna have to like pre-fire over there or you could look this way and they usually run through there too so that's actually a really good spawn peeking spot but you just gotta be aware that like behind you um, they're not gonna be shooting you from, from the other spawn uh, so you just gotta be careful with that one and uh, the last spawn I have to show on this map is gonna be right over here a lot of people actually use this one you're gonna want to break like part of the bottom of this over here and you want to like look between the railing and where I'm looking is like a kind of a walkway which is where they all uh, walk by if they spawn over there and you could just get some headshots and they're gonna be like uh, where'd you kill me from uh, it's a really good spot right there so uh, yeah now that we're done with Hereford base we did move on we are on favelas and there is actually a couple of really good spots on this map actually um, right here you just want to break one like kind of the middle or top left corner and uh, you're gonna want to peek over here they are gonna be coming up a ladder over here and um, they're really vul vulnerable when they uh, walk up so uh, you'll just be able to hit a couple headshots um, if you're accurate the only other one on this map that we have is gonna be right here you're gonna look up and you're gonna see like the top of their heads or something over there and uh, you could be able to shoot those and uh, I do get a lot of kills from this spot too so it's a good spot we're gonna run down over here and uh, the only other spot that I really have over here is gonna be downstairs and I don't use this one too often but when I do I do get um, some pretty good kills right right here 
I want to break this down. And you're going to wait like five seconds after preparation phase and then run out. And then you're going to be able to see um, there's going to be uh, enemies just running right through over there if they spawned over there. And those are some pretty easy kills too. That's all that we have for Fivellas. On to the next map. Alright, so on the next map we do have Consulate. And um, is actually a couple of pretty good uh, spots for Consulate right here. Um, you're gonna want to break this window all the way upstairs, and you can spawn peek the main gate, which a lot of people come through, so it's, uh, pretty good. Pretty good right there. Uh, you can also go on the stairs over here, and, uh, you can spawn kill, like, right by the tree. They're gonna spawn, like, pretty much under the tree, so when they run under, you can just, uh, get them right there. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good spot, to be honest. I, uh, really enjoy using this one. This is probably the best one on Consulate. Um, and, uh, yeah. So now we're going to head downstairs, kind of like by the main entrance of Consulate. And uh, this one you're going to kind of have to jump outside for, so it's kind of risky. But you can probably get some pretty good kills with it. So you want to break down that window, and you're going to jump out right here and look immediately right. And through these bars, you're probably going to be able to maybe get a headshot if you're lucky and uh, you see them running through. So, yeah. That's all we have for Consulate right there. On to the next map, we have Skyscraper. Um, there is actually a couple good spots on Skyscraper right here, but there's not too many to where, like, um, it's overwhelming, but there's a couple. Right here, you've got to break a little piece of the door right by bedroom, and there's the main gate that they all walk through, so, uh, get a couple headshots right there. The other one is really close by, it's right to the left, and, uh, you're gonna spawn peek the other kind of gate they, gateway they have, and, uh, here it is. Uh, I don't usually get too many kills from here, but... Uh, it's a really good spot because they don't really expect it at all. And, uh, yeah. The, uh, only other one that there is is kind of upstairs. And this one's actually okay. I don't really use it too often, but I've seen a lot of other YouTubers use it. And they get, um, some pretty good kills. You're gonna have to run all the way up here. And you're gonna want to break down this barricade right coming up here. You just want to be two places from here. Right where the round starts, you're going to want to jump out and look right. And you could uh, look at the helipad that's right there. And it's honestly a pretty good spot. Or you could look left right when you jump out. Uh, let me go back inside. You could jump out and look left. And you can see the ventilation units. And you could spawn kill there too, which is honestly pretty good. So that's one of the better ones on Skyscraper. And uh, yeah, uh, we're moving on. And we're on the new next map. Moving on to the next map. <laughs> Alright, so we're on bank now, and uh, we're over here. This is probably uh, my favorite uh, spawn killing map, maybe in the whole game. There are a lot of different uh, places to spawn kill on this map. This one's really good right here. You're going to want to run out right when the preparation phase ends. You're going to just sprint out there, and uh, you're just going to pre-fire, um, and they won't see you because it still says you're not detected for two seconds, so they won't see you until you're, like, shooting at them. And So that one's a really good spot right there, to be honest. And... Um, I'm gonna have to say there's another one like pretty much right up here. You're gonna spawn peek pretty much by like the sewer right over here. You wanna go over here, you can hold a pretty tight angle um, right here and uh, you could probably see it running past or about to go in the sewer right there too. So uh, this is another really, uh, really good one for a bank. Alright, we're gonna move on to the next map and uh, it's gonna be Chalet is gonna be the next map and here we are. Um, on Chalet, there's actually two spawn peeking spots on the library, and uh, these ones are actually probably the two best in the game. They're like really, really good spots. So you're gonna want to make a small hole, and you're gonna like see them come from behind that tree as one of the spawns. So that's a really good one. Or and you can just move over to this other window over here, and uh, they're gonna spawn behind the trees over here, and or behind that car. And uh, when they come around to shoot the camera, you could just shoot them in the head right there. And uh, those are the two ones in library, and there is actually one more downstairs, which I'm gonna show you in a second. And uh, once I get down there, you're going to want to break the bottom of the barricade down there. And uh, once you do, um, you get a pretty good line of sight from uh, right there to like where they walk up to try to come into the building. And uh, they will sometimes come up to you or they'll try to go up the ladder or something. It's honestly a pretty good spot right there. I do get some kills. And uh, yeah, that's it with Chalet. And uh, <clears throat> alright, so now we are on Oregon. And uh, right here, this is a really good spot in Oregon right here. You're just going to break the window kind of in the bathroom over here and you're going to see them run across right there. It's a really good one. That This is probably the best one on Oregon. But there is another one here upstairs. You could run all the way up here and um, once you pull down this you could uh, actually look like kind of right over this like little like fence type of thing and you're going to see the, like the top of their heads right when they spawn and you could actually get a couple. I've got some really cheeky spawn kills with that spot right there. And it's honestly, like, really dirty, so, uh, I recommend using that one. I do get a lot of kills with that one. 
So uh, that is really all the ones that I are on Oregon. So uh, now we're gonna have to be over here on <clears throat> Clubhouse, and uh, right here is a really good one because if you're, especially if the objective is basement, and they're gonna want to go through tunnel, you can get them right there because that's where a tunnel is right there. They're usually just gonna run across, and you can just shoot them right there. That is a really good spot right there. And uh, the other spot that is actually on this map is gonna be all the way upstairs, and uh, it's actually really good. Um, see, you'll see when I get there. When I run up the stairs over here. You're gonna want to make a hole right here on the left, and uh, once you make the hole, and it, if it's big enough, uh, then um, you can see right under this uh, gate right here, or like bridge type of thing, and you'll be able to see their feet while they're running before they can even see you, so you can like kind of pre-fire their feet, and their head will be there uh, if they're sprinting, and uh, yeah, that's honestly um, a really good spot right there. And the last spot on this map is going to have to be like the main entrance part right here. This one is pr maybe the riskiest one in the game, so I don't do it too often, but it's very rewarding at times as well. Um, so you can just run out right at the beginning of preparation phase and just start spraying behind these cars, because a lot of times they won't be paying attention or be like trying to take out the camera. The only problem with that spot is that you're outside for a pretty long time, so it's a really risky spot. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for Clubhouse right there. Now we are on Bartlett University. And uh, this map actually has quite a few spawn kill spots, but I'm only going to show you two of them today. Uh, right here, just pretty much the main door walking in. Um, you could see the truck that they spawn behind. And if they w run to the right, then um, you will actually be able to uh, see their uh, heads and uh, maybe a little bit of their chest if they run by. So that's a pretty good spot right there, to be honest. And uh, the only other one I'm going to show you today is going to be right upstairs. It's pretty much right above that. Um, it, it is spawn peaking in the same exact spot. And um, yeah, so uh, once I get there, I'll show you. It's right here, with this barricade right here. You're just going to break like part of it, and you're going to look in essentially the same spot. But it is a little bit harder to do because it is bright over there. So uh, yeah, it's pretty hard to do. Um, I prefer the one downstairs the most. So the only other one I have in Bartlett over here, um, it kind of spawn peaks the same part, but not really because it's a little bit like further off from the spawn. You'll kind you'll see what I mean in a second. So once you break down that, you're gonna actually uh, see them like they spawn more to the right. But if they run over to try to take out the camera, you could easily see them, and uh, yeah, you can uh, get some pretty easy kills right there. Uh, I do actually use this spot a lot, and you could look over and see like the who's hanging on the window of classroom also, so I like that one a lot too. Um, Alright, here we are on Cafe Dostoevsky, I think is how you say it, and um, right here, they do spawn over here, so you could like shoot through like the bars uh, while they're running past, and you could get some pretty easy kills right there. I do really enjoy using that spot, and just right across from it. Um, you could just break it too, and you can see the main gate that they can go through at the same time. So that's actually, those are two really good spots for that spawn. So, uh, yeah. If you have two people there, like at both, uh, window, um, and the enemy spawns there, um, you're probably gonna get at least one pick. So, uh, that's, those are really good spots. The only other one that's really on this map is gonna be upstairs. It's not really too good of one, but it's really just the only other one, um, on the map. It's over here, um, you can kind of just spawn peek the left over here, they're gonna run down the lane over here, but it's kind of like a really small peak you can get, so it's not really that great of a spot, but you could try it. Um, I've got a couple kills here before. And, uh, yeah, that's really all, um, on Cafe, so, uh, yeah. Moving on to Border, um, it's gonna be kind of, uh, it, this spot's gonna be upstairs, but both these spots are gonna be run-out spawn kills, and they're both really risky, but also very rewarding at the same time. Right when the round starts, you're gonna sprint outside, and you're just gonna pre-fire, like, right where I'm aiming right now, because they're just spawn, they spawn right there, and they're gonna be running at you, pretty much. And, uh, yeah. So after you do that, you're pretty much going to want to run back inside, and uh, yeah. The other spawn kill is going to be downstairs, and for this one, you're going to need a nitrocell or an impact grenade for this one. It's going to be right over here. Um, it doesn't matter which one you use, just you need to have a big enough hole to go through. And once you go through, you just want to sprint and look left, and they're going to spawn right there, running down the hill right there, and you're going to spawn kill them, and uh, yeah. Those are two really good uh, spawn kill spots on border, but they are very risky, so uh, use them with caution, I guess. And on to the last map, which is going to be Coastline. Um, there is a couple of spots right here. Um, uh, they all pretty much peak the same exact um, spawn, so uh, 
Yeah, so you could up here in billiards room, you could just look over here and uh, right by the ruins area, and you could spawn kill them easily. You don't really want to make uh, as big of a hole as I did, like break down the window, but um, I just wanted to show you for like reference purposes. The uh, other spot you could use is break down this, and right when the round starts, just run out and uh, peek ruins. And if they're not over there, they're going to be over to the right, which is by like the pool, and they do spawn over there too. Uh, they could be running over there or over by pool. So uh, yeah. That's honestly, that's probably the best one on Coastline. So, uh, yeah. And uh, the final spot is going to be Blue Bar. It's also going to be Peaking Ruins. So, just, um, there's a lot of spots where you could peak ruins on this map. And, uh, yeah. Just uh, want to break this right here. But, uh, I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. And, uh, if you did, please make sure to smash the like button. And, uh, make sure you subscribe if you enjoy my, uh, content. And, please, uh, see you guys in another one.